Hello, I just wanted to show you a Kikusui oscilloscope model number COS5060 that I acquired uh, recently from a Kijiji listing for $60. Went to their house, picked it up. Uh, it's in full functioning order. I want to show you how to use it. It's uh, the Kikusui oscilloscope 60 megahertz and it has three channels. So first I'm going to turn it on. Nice thing about this oscilloscope uh, is it has an illuminated radicule. Uh, you can see there, you can turn it on and off. That looks really nice. Um, there's an in, Here's the intensity knob, as you can see. You c it has a nice bright display with no burn-in. And there's the focus, so you can change that. So I'll just focus it. Now I already have a couple of signals coming into the oscilloscope. You'll notice um, I have the sine wave coming off of this uh, Gabotronics. Uh, unit, the X Proto Lab. I have that wired in, and it just feeds us a sine wave on uh, channel one. And I have on the other channel two, right over here. I have the uh, oscilloscope calibration signal, which you can see here, and that I'm just going to attach. And right there, you can see the square wave coming up. Now it's set to uh, trigger. On channel 2 right now that's why you see this lower display working and when the other other one is not triggering so as soon as I switch it now the sine wave is triggering and uh, you can change the position you can change the the amplitude of that uh, channel and there's also of course the uh, fine adjust and amplification there uh, to get five times magnification I believe and with the other one the same thing you can change the size and position right here everything works you can bring up um, something called vertical trig so what our vertical mode it what it does is it switches back and forth on the trigger for both so you can display both at the same time and it triggering off of both this of course is the time base we can compress our signal and uh, once again move position uh, horizontally so we can uh, line it up and it's a otherwise a very nice oscilloscope everything's working great you can trigger off of the line of course it's not going to trigger uh, it's not going to be stable the waves because it's going off of line frequency but we'll go back to the internal XY um, you know when you ground obviously each one it goes to flat and then DC is right there so that's really good uh, and basically it's uh, just a very nice display um, I'm not sure what this button does maybe somebody can leave a comment and explain what this is it says delay time malt I have to pull out the the manual for this I haven't read it over yet and I have horizontal display here uh, a couple of different buttons choosing uh, some modes again not sure exactly what that's for it probably has to do with this third channel uh, input which allows you to adjust things. Um, I'm going to just switch over my Gabotronics here and switch to a square wave and here's a triangle. Now the reason the signal is kind of flawed is because I'm just hanging on to it by a couple of threads there that's why but uh, here I'll go back to sine wave their square, their sawtooth and uh, that's basically it. So just a quick introduction to the Kikusui COS5060 in beautiful working condition for $60 um, from a local Kijiji listing and um, glad uh, to show you this old uh, antique but still very functional and useful today uh, for a lot of electronics work. Thank you.